the BC government just introduced a brand new flipping tax and here's everything we know about it so far. My name is Oleg, I'm a local real estate agent here in Vancouver and I try to help you make better real estate decisions. This new flipping tax was kind of long way coming. The BC government was discussing introduction of this tax, I remember as far as two years ago. Well, now it is finally introduced. The way the tax will work is that if you sell the property within the first year of the ownership, whatever profits you make on the property, you'll pay 20% tax. If you sell the property within the second year of your ownership, there is a sliding scale that determines how much tax you'll be responsible to pay. That sliding scale goes all the way down to zero at the two year mark. So if you sell the property after two years of ownership, you don't pay any speculation tax. There are a couple of other things that I found very interesting about this tax. Number one, the fact that it also applies to new construction. So if you buy a brand new property and then you want to assign the contract even before you buy the property, which is a very common thing to do with pre-construction, you will be responsible for this tax if you do it within the first two years. It is still not clear when the timer starts for the two year period, probably from the time that you sign the contract. Uh, so if you assign within the first two years, you will have to pay this flipper tax. The second thing that I found very interesting about this tax is the fact there are quite a few different exceptions. So if you have to sell the property for one of these reasons, such as separation, divorce, death, disability, illness, allocation for work, or involuntary job loss, change of household membership, personal safety, or insolvency, then you will not be responsible for paying this flipper tax. But of course, that raises more questions, such as how do you prove these things? Who's gonna check these things? Is government gonna hire a bunch of new auditors? Do you uh, file it on your tax returns? There is a lot of questions to be raised about this, but just know that there are ways around it if you have to sell for the reasons outside of your control. The plan is to have this tax take effect as of January 1st, 2025 for all properties sold after that date, but it also applies to the properties bought before that date. So let's say you buy a property this year until the end of the year, and then you want to sell it next year. Well, then you will have to deal with this tax if you don't qualify for the exception. It will be interesting to see what this actually does to the market. Is it going to slow it down? We're gonna have less transactions because some people might be uh, wanting or willing to sell their property, but they can't because it hasn't been two years yet. Or is it gonna help with the affordability because we're gonna have less flippers? Time will tell. What do you guys think? What will this tax do to the prices of real estate in BC? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.